Hey guys, so here's the food forest. The plants are making way. And as you can see, there's been a bit of growth. We spent a lot of time preparing the soil. I gotta say, preparing the soil is the second most important thing after water. In any gardening, you focus on the soil first. There's uh, mini hookah cultures underneath here. So there's rotting pieces of wood with a manure, organics, and lots of really healthy native riparian soil from nearby that we drew on top. And then we planted cover crop, chopped it down, chop and drop, uh, let it decompose a bit. Then we finally planted all this on top and it's growing like a weed. In fact, there are a lot of weeds here and it's a good thing. Um, so every weed in here is edible. So here's some lamb's quarters, uh, super nutritious. In fact, one of the, the many weeds that are more nutritious than kale. So we got curly, I don't know, this is a ribwort, a ribwort plantain, curly dock. We planted a few different weeds in here, like nettle, for example. Nettle is possibly the most amazing plant that you can consume. And a lot of people don't even know that you can consume it. Um, I'm, I'm sure if you are following this page, you might already know that, but um, if you don't, get on the nettle. You just want to make sure you cook it. Uh, it's got it's got the stingers, so the stingers are cooked off or frozen off. Uh, I've, I've boiled them in the past and stir-fried them, and it's great. We know it's super nutritious. It has deep tap roots, just like this comfrey here who's attacking me. Um, both of these plants have deep tap roots, pull up minerals, and they give to you tons of amazing minerals and nutrients that are deep in those roots that are eventually taken to the leaves. Uh, so the comfrey here is great for chop and drop. It's, uh, this one's not edible, um, but you can chop and drop the leaves and then the, deep, the nutrients and the tap roots are then presented in the leaves and go into the, the plants around it. Food for the pollinators. We've, uh, we've got our native plant section here. We really focus on perennial growth. So that's why this is the forest garden prototype because they're all plants that could live in a forest. They're all perennials. And a lot of, a lot of times I'll ask the question, can this be a tree? And you can ask that about many types of kale and collard. Many brassicas can be perennials. We have trees of all those types. There's even a collard tree that's already been evolved in this way. Those can be up to eight feet tall. And finally, my pride and joy as of late, this is the aquaponics system that we're just installing. 